everybody maddie here with back with mindset so i am at the hunting property right now we're walking back we're on the trail and we're gonna go take a look i need to put an sd card and some new batteries in my trail camera i know dave was out here um today i think um and he did his i think he put some corn out too um i'm not i'm not setting anything out yet um i'm just gonna get the something in the trail camera i might come out and try to do some hunting on uh, probably next weekend maybe is my thought um do like an afternoon uh towards early evening hunt might do that but i uh yeah, I just got over here, just got in the woods. I haven't been back here in a year, so I don't know what my uh, blind is going to look like. Um, the one, there used to be a stand that was right here, and it looks like the people that were hunting this area came and took the stand down because um, I don't see it there. It's, I, I'm back quite a bit further down this trail going this way but uh hopefully when i get back up there i can show you when i got here i was greeted by some critters and maybe they'll be up there when we get back but let's get back over to the blind we're going to take a look at it make sure it's in good shape it's good to go that i don't need to repair anything and uh and we'll get the stuff put in the camera all right so right now i'm about a quarter way or now maybe halfway back to mine but i'm gonna show you so i don't want to go over in his area but i'll kind of show you so there's this path right here and then dave has a tree stand that's right up over here and then i'm quite a ways farther down this way still but i just figured i'd show you um i know i've talked about my buddy dave um that he hunts by me and that's what he is relatively relatively close but not not so close i'd say he's probably still about a eighth of a mile quarter of a mile away um so we'll be back here in a minute all right so i'm back here walking up on the blind now you can see it over here coming up on it we're going to take a look make sure that nothing's damaged on it like i said it's been a year then we got to check the trail camera get the batteries changed put a new sd card in it which i have a fresh one i checked before i came and hopefully everything's in good shape so um the blind seems to be the windows are open on it um which is cool oh there is a rip Look at that. A rip going right down the front of it. So we are going to have to do... Oh, that's right on the door, too. Dang it. Oh my God, that's greasy. I don't have anything to repair that, but maybe... Man, something did a number on this. It almost looks like something. Scratching at it? I don't know. Anyways, we're going to, we're gonna have to fix that. I think I might just get some camo tape and just probably try to tape over it. Um, but, Let's go and we'll, uh, we'll get the, uh, I mean, other than that, it really, it looks all right. So the creek is actually, which I'm really surprised because we've had a lot of rain, but I'll show you walking down to it here now. You can see the creek. Here's the blind and then the creek's here. And I can see a lot of prints coming through here. So, um, yeah, this is dry though, real dry. But yeah, there's all sorts of deer prints coming through here, so that's awesome. And I like right there. 
we'll see how it works out. But yeah, it definitely looks like something something did a number on that. So we're going to uh, we're going to tape that up. I'll probably just do it from the inside, um, so I don't change the appearance on the outside. Um, just get some like gorilla tape or something. I don't know if you you know what guys if you have any suggestions on how I can repair that you can see it there let me know um, I need to know and I thought I had my trail camera over here and I don't see my trail camera now I thought I had it hidden pretty well too I'm trying to look to see did it slide down somewhere did it fall did the tree fall over it was on? Oh no. I don't know. I'm gonna have to do some looking around here. I have no idea where my Oh no, I found it. Never mind. I was losing it. I couldn't remember. I thought I had it over here, but I didn't. I had it. If you can see it, it's right there. On the tree. Still in good shape. Looking good. It's not on, it's dead. But we're going to put some new batteries in an SD card, and we'll be back here in a minute. I can tell the, the battery's got some, uh, the, uh, I can see the, like, whatever, the, So many noises out here. What does it say? I can't see if this is locked or not. And that was a mistake I made last time. I think it is locked. It's such a pain when it's on the tree to get it out. We'll be back here in a minute after I get it released. It's gonna take me a minute. Look at that. It exploded in there. Uh, I don't even know if the terminals are gonna be clean enough. I might not even be able to do this today. I might have to take this home and use some, I think you use baking soda. Try to clean up some of the corrosion with baking soda, see if I can even get it to work. Kind of glad I came out here to look and see though, this is turning into a more like, what does backwoods need to buy situation, which sucks all the time because it's like something every single time. But these like straight up, I think some of them blew up. So we're gonna dig them out of here and see what we got. All right, let's see here. I'm not gonna leave these on the ground either. I'm gonna put them in my backpack. terminals or yeah these actually blew up in here so I was worried about trying not to get there's still some battery acid in there trying not to get out of my hands I think I got a plastic bag in my backpack I can put these in oh yeah this is this is destroyed Look at all that gunk in there. I don't know if you can see it. It's pretty, let me turn the, we got a light on the side of the camera, so we'll turn that on and see if that helps. It's all corroded. I'm worried. The inside, now this actually looks clean on the inside there. It's still a little, it's clean in the bottom. I think you can actually see in there, no kidding. But up at the top, might just need to clean that up a little bit. Um, then we can test it out, make sure everything's working right on it, I guess, when I get it home. Um, I'm going to get these batteries cleaned up here, get them put in a bag, get them put in my backpack. And, uh, yeah, if you have any ideas on uh, 
on how to uh, fix the tent, you know, put those in the comments down there. You know, definitely let me know. Let me know on that. And uh, we're going to get this stuff all cleaned up here. And uh, get on our way back. So we'll be back here in a second. Okay, so I didn't want anybody saying that you just that I just threw the batteries on the ground. So here's the bag, and I'm going to show you guys me putting them in. There's eight batteries. One battery. Two batteries. Three batteries. Four batteries. Five batteries. Six batteries. Seven batteries. And eight batteries all in the bag put this back in my backpack and we'll take it and we'll dispose of these at home because that's gross that they're like that i got some hand sanitizer on me get my hands cleaned off um yeah i gotta i gotta get some tape for the blind uh, everything else it looks relatively clear um over here um I don't know if the owner of the land went through and cut some of this down, um, but I used to have, I'll show you, my blind used to be over the, right there in that clearing. And then I moved it over here because um, the problem that I was running into two years ago, I didn't hunt last year, but two years ago when I hunted, I didn't get one shot because they were all on the other side of the creek that's why I put that there. But now I can see that they're actually crossing over the creek. So who knows what's going to happen. But anyways, I'm going to get these batteries put back in my bag. Um, I know what I need to do with that. If I think. If you guys have any better um, ideas, let me know. Um, would love, would absolutely love to hear them. Um, I, need, I know I need to get a chair too. So this is kind of serving as me almost making like a a list on a video but i need to get a chair to put in there i need to get um something to seal up where it got ripped open and i should be good to go oh and then i got to do the batteries and check the trail camera and make sure i don't need to get a new one that kind of stinks that i can't have a trail camera out right now but that would explain why i didn't have any pictures on the sd card so batteries exploded anyways that's what it is. Let's get back to the truck. So I just got back from the hunting property. I'm back home and I know what I need to get now. If there, you do, you guys do have any um, suggestions for what I should use to fix the hunting blind, leave it in the comments. I'd really appreciate that. Um, I do want to show you what I did get uh, for the truck from one of the my subscribers, one of my friends, um, he made this for me. He actually made me a couple, and it's uh, it's super, super cool. Um, and I'm also, I'm in this. It's like 81 degrees. There's a plane going over top. Anyways, it's like 81 degrees outside, and it's October 6th. Today is when it is. This is just crazy. Uh, had some really nice weather. I should be out fishing. I did try it the other night and I just have a really bad year. But anyways, I'm going to show you what I got. So I have something here that I've wanted. Check this out. How cool is that? So I had this one on here before, the Backwoods Mindset with the YouTube, and he made me this vinyl logo. Look at how detailed it is like this is wild look at the eye you can actually see the dot like it's super super detailed got the trees got the whole thing this is exactly what i wanted for the truck super excited about it like that was just awesome that he did that for me thanks a lot go check him out i'm going to put his link down in the description um, so if you guys are into that um the bushcraft stuff and he's just a great guy um, you know, maybe you can even get him 
to do some uh, do some artwork for you, maybe make you some stickers, whatever you got to do. Um, it's it's nice and it's super heavy duty. Went on real easy, um, but it's stuck. It's stuck on there real good. High quality vinyl is what that is. It, it's beautiful, but really happy with that. I decided to go with the white. He actually sent me two. He sent me a black one, and then he sent me the white one. I thought the white would pop more on the gray truck. Uh, the black one I have another plan for. And then um, he made me some mini ones um, that I have to use too. But in the giveaway that I'm gonna be doing um, that, that I already did, because this is gonna be out on Tuesday now, this isn't gonna be coming out today on Sunday or set, I'm all screwed up. Anyways, this is after, but on the giveaway, some of those are gonna be, um, be given away um, so I want to thank him. I really appreciate it. Uh, I think that's it for this video. I got a lot of work I got to do. Uh, I am going to try to hunt next week. Uh, we have the live that I did. This is coming out Tuesday, so it would have been yesterday. Um, so I'm going to preemptively thank everybody who came over for the giveaway and hung out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. I love you guys. Slime on, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.